Amy Coney Barrett's nomination um, is being rushed through by Republicans. We all know this. Uh, the Trump administration would like to rush it through before the election. And so Kayleigh McEnany, White House Press Secretary, just like threw together some briefing materials that weren't exactly correct. Let's watch. Judge Barrett is extremely well qualified. She graduated summa cum laude from Notre Dame Law School, where she received the Hoynes Prize for achieving the best record in scholarship. And she also is a Rhodes Scholar. I first wanted to clean up something from your own thing. You said Judge Barrett was a Rhodes Scholar. Um, I'm not sure that that's true. Um, I, that's what I have written here. She attended Rhodes College. She attended, attended Rhodes College, Rhodes College. So, so my very bad. Very different thing, yes. all right. Oops. <laughs> As I say, there's a big difference between attending Rhodes College and being a Rhodes Scholar. Uh, not that I care about you being a Rhodes Scholar, but you know that's a little detail you might want to read through the Wikipedia page a little bit more closely, Kaylee. <laughs> I mean, I get that they're trying to rush through this confirmation, but like you don't need to rush through the briefing materials. Like, take a breather, <laughs> just make sure that you have those details right. Um, you know, I've noticed like a little bit of a change in her demeanor lately. Whereas like in the beginning when he, she was announced as the new White House press secretary, she seemed to be a lot more peppy and giddy and excited about her new role. Um, but now she's becoming more and more like Sarah Huckabee Sanders where she seems exhausted, perpetually annoyed, doesn't really know how to answer the questions. She's been looking down at that binder a lot longer and a lot more than usual. Um, so I love to see it. I really do. <laughs> I wonder if it's, if it's going in with the idea that oh liberals are really bad and Donald Trump is probably good and I just need to do a better job than Sarah Huckabee or before the other guy. I forgot the first guy at this point. Um, and then realizing no, no, you're you're going to do a whole lot of lying in this position. You're gonna your soul is going to be chipped away piece by piece with every lie that you give and maybe she's just realizing she has just a little bit of soul left and she wants to cling to that. Well, it does show you how intoxicating power is for people because I see a role like that as absolute torture. I couldn't do it in a million years. But some people just want that prestige, they want that power, and so they'll do it. Sean Spicer, that was the name of the first White House press secretary during the Trump administration. I totally forgot his name <laughs> as well, Ben. But yeah, like every single one of them was completely worn out, worn down by the time they decided to quit. And I do have a suggestion for Kaylee McEnany. In fact, I have a suggestion for the manufacturers of false eyelashes. I mean, how could you not engage in some sort of partnership with Kaylee McEnany? She's like all I ever see during these press house, White House press briefings is false lashes. Like she looks down so much. I'm just like, wow. Those look heavy, those look <laughs> painful, but they look good. I mean, that's why I'm saying if they want to do some sort of like sponsorship, I feel like this is a great opportunity, have at it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges, you've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun, but you also get Playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.